The Arizona Cardinals, uncharacteristically great draft. They, the new GM started off really great this year. They traded out of the third pick and got a first next year among a lot of other picks. They fleeced the Texans. So, and then they traded up and made sure they got their guy, Paris Johnson. Kyler should be happy. The the Cardinals should be happy. I don't know if you want to just discuss that. Real yeah, quick. Kyler was, well, it sounds like Johnson was actually the guy that Kyler was pushing for. So to move back at your capital and then move up was an unbelievable move, especially in front of Vegas. You completely threw off their draft and McDaniels panicked as he usually does. Um, Johnson, we suspected was going to be the first tackle off the board, regard even though he was only the third tackle on our rankings. He was the safest pick. He's got a super high floor. Um, although his ceiling probably isn't what the other two ahead of him is. But, I mean, he's athletic. He protected – not that Stroud's athletic, but he did protect Justin Fields. Um, so he is used to that quarterback running around in the backfield. Um, once Murray is back from injury, him he should be very happy with what they're doing up front. They went and got B.J. Ojolari in the second. I thought it was a little bit high for him. I had him as a third-round graded prospect, but he's very solid. He's one of those guys – I forget who my comp was, to be honest, but – he should start right away. He's I don't see him ever being a 12, even a 12 sack guy, but he could be a 10 sack guy repeatedly. Very technical, under athletic. He was misused at LSU where he's asked to drop back a lot and he shouldn't. He should be a pass rushing stand-up backer. But again, that was a need. They addressed needs all across the board. Garrett Williams in the third. Yeah, Garrett Williams what well, is actually coming off torn ACL, so um it may have been a little bit high although he toured in october which means he should be ready for camp and all that um but between him and kai Tro clark who actually had a very strong draft process they are starting to rebuild the secondary who before thursday night was set to uh start like antonio hamilton and a bunch of other no names Michael Wilson in the third is gamble because his health has always been a question, but as far as ability, he's number one receiver material. He's a great route runner, great hands. He can go up and get the jump ball. He's got good release, good athleticism. Again, it's just, he's missed time in every single season. They went and addressed the line further, which they needed because they have got to have the oldest offensive line in football right now. Mm -hmm. And they went and got John Gaines, the second. I got nothing on him. And then Clayton Toon in the fifth, another one of our favorite sleeper quarterbacks. We had him as our quarterback five. We liked him more than Levis. And as crazy as that sounds, it was more to do with Toon's draft, like what it's going to cost to get him versus Levis. And Toon could develop into something pretty good. He's got a strong arm. He's got mechanical issues that you need to correct. He's a good athlete. And, you know, he's going to be a great backup for Kyler, but he may start soon because they don't really you know their current quarterback is hurt as well it's it's it'll be interesting to see how that plays out oh and Popoe, not the best fit in the world but as far as value is a good pick and dante stills for a sixth round he's kind of like a tweener between tackle and end they need help everywhere so it was good pick good selections 